Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. Today we'll have our 96th lesson in our vocabulary series, day number 96. Let's begin, shall we? The first three words that we're going to learn, first three or four words that we're going to learn, they both basically mean the same thing. They are all synonyms. They all mean to be complete, to be thorough, to be all inclusive. Let's look at let's look at the first one, shall we? The word is comprehensive, and it is an adjective, obviously. The first meaning of the word comprehensive comes from the word comprehend, which means to understand. And I'm not going to go, go into that one because it's too simple, too straightforward. Everybody understands that the word that to comprehend means to understand. That's not the meaning we're talking about here. When, when somebody describes something as being comprehensive, some work being comprehensive, in that context it means that it is... Let's first talk about the pronunciation. Even though it's a very simple pronunciation, but as you know, we make a point of writing down the pronunciation in every single case regardless of how simple the pronunciation might be. You must make a habit of it because sometimes you'll find that you might think that the pronunciation is very simple and you may pronounce it in one way and it turns out that it is not the right pronunciation. Always take the time to actually learn the pronunciation properly, thoroughly, completely. Do you understand? Calm, pre, hand, See, as you can see, it's very straightforward, comprehensive. Comprehensive means, as I said before, it means to be complete. It means to be complete, to be thorough, to be thorough, to be detailed, to be detailed, to be all all inclusive. The word inclusive, the word inclusive is an adjective of the word include. Include is the word. Of course everybody knows it. Very simple word. Include was the adjective of the word include. If you include something, if you include everything, you say it was all inclusive. Inclusive is the adjective. All inclusive. How about all? How about the last word here? Uh, to be all all in encompassing all encompassing again the word encompassing comes from the word encompass which means to include we'll talk about that at the end and finally comprehensive means to be Exhausted. To be exhausted. It is this word now that we want to learn exhausted. Because it has more than one meaning. Let's talk about this word next. But exhaustive in this context is simply a synonym of comprehensive. So exhaustive means, for example, if, if you're looking for a book that you have to return, a book is due to be returned to a library and you cannot find that book and you're searching for it all over. And then uh, they ask, somebody asks you, did you look for it properly? Did you, did you, did you search for it uh, throughout the whole house? Your answer might be, yes, I searched for it in the entire house. I assure you that my search, my search was exhaustive. My search was comprehensive. I looked everywhere. I looked in every corner, every nook and every cranny of the house. I assure you that my search was comprehensive. I'll show you that my work was comprehensive, it was thorough, it was exhaustive. I did not leave out anything. Let's look at the word exhaust. As I said, it has, it has more than one meaning. First, the pronunciation, as you can see, it's not X, the first syllable is not pronounced X, it's egg, exhaust, exhaust. The first meaning, of course, is the fumes that comes out 
comes out of a muffler or as the Americans would call it, the exhaust pipe. The fumes that comes out the, the, at the back of the car, at the back of the vehicle, that's an exhaust. Second meaning, if you, if you, if you use it as to exhaust, ex to exhaust means to, to use up, to use up, to consume all resources. We are only we are only in July and we have already exhausted the entire budget for the year. We have exhausted the whole budget. We still have five more months to go. I don't know what we're going to do. We have exhausted our budget. We have exhausted all the possibilities. I have looked at all possible solutions. Nothing seems to work. We have exhausted all possibilities, all solutions. Nothing seems to work. The third meaning, of course, if you use the word exhausted, Again, literally it means that you have used up all your energy. You have used up all your energy. Exhausted simply means to be tired. I'm so exhausted. I am so exhausted. I'm so feeling tired. I'm so fatigued. And finally, the fourth meaning is when we use this as exhaustive. And we just learned it. The pronunciation would be ek. So, still, it's an adjective as I said before, exhaustive, I'm not going to rewrite everything, exhaustive simply means to be complete, to be thorough, to be all inclusive, to be all encompassing, uh, to not leave out anything, to be detailed in every possible way, exhaustive. You might take an exhaustive survey, an exhaustive survey is a survey that do, did a very good job of including every possible person that, uh, that, need, that needed to be included. You did not leave out anybody. You might do an exhaustive search. You might have an exhaustive discussion on a topic. An exhaustive discussion is one that is a discussion that is complete, thorough. We talked about all the topics that were there. We did not leave out anything. Our discussion was exhaustive. It was exhaustive. It was frank. Finally, finally, we want to learn the word encompass. In come us encompass which means, literally it means to surround, to surround, to make, make a circle around something, to enclose, to enclose, to surround it. It also means to comprise. And finally, it can be used to mean to include, to include. Now, as you can see, the word encompass is a verb, and so is include. We can convert that verb, we can convert that verb into an adjective very easily. We convert it into, into an adjective by saying encompassing. That becomes an adjective, in which case this would be include include save all inclusive all encompassing thorough complete exhaustive that's it these are all synonyms do you understand these are all synonyms let's move on so those were the three words that we learned there I want to learn two more words which have nothing to do with what we've been talking about so far two separate words two entirely different words two words that sometimes confuse me. I want to learn the differences, difference between the two words so that I don't end up making a fool of myself if I were to use these words in my speech or in my writing or if I were to hear it or read it someplace, I want to be able to tell the difference between the difference between two words. Because sometimes, sometimes people do confuse the, the next two words that we're going to talk about. The words are
So that's all we're going to have. We're going to only have five words today. Three that we just did and, and two more. Here we go. The words are... Flount. Flount. It has an N sound in it. Flount. And... Flout. Flout, which is a verb. Flount is also a verb. Do you know the difference between the between these two words? One has an N in it. Actually, they are very different. different. Did I spell it correctly? It should be F-L-A-U-N-T. F-L-A-U-N-T. Flount and flout. Actually, they do, they do have We have F L and then A U N and here we have O U. So instead of A we have O and we have an N in here. You see? Flount and flout. Do you know the difference? What does it mean to flout? To flount. The very first one. Flount means to it means to to show off. If you're showing off something, you're flaunting it. To to exhibit something. To exhibit something, I need the room here, so I, I'm not going to keep writing there. To exhibit something, haughtily. To exhibit something, haughtily. Again, I'm not going to go into the details of the meaning of the word haughty, because we have learned it on day number 25. 25 means day 25 in our vocabulary series. Just type in vocabulary words, day 25, and you'll see that in the, on that day we learned the word haughty. Hori means to be arrogant, to be obnoxious, to show off, to feel that you're better than, to be, to, to feel that you're better than, to be, to, that you're superior than, than others, to behave in a haughty manner. To exhibit something haughtily means to flaunt it, because you're showing it off. To exhibit haughtily, or to to exhibit, how about? Ostentatiously. If you exhibit something ostentatiously, you're flaunting it. You're showing it off. Ostentatious is the word is the, is the word that we learn on day number 68. So we're not going to go over into it because we can't keep repeating the word. Ostentatious is how we pronounce it. To exhibit something ostentatiously, to exhibit something haughtily, to show off something in a very proud manner, you're flaunting it. He is flaunting. He likes to flaunt his knowledge. He likes to flaunt his knowledge. He knows a little bit about this subject and he likes to brag about it. Let's learn this word. Flout. Flout means to show. I'm going to erase this part here. We don't need it now. Flout means to show. To show. Complete. disregard for something, to show complete disregard for something. Why? Because, because you feel it is beneath you, or if you like, you're above it. It means to show, it means to show Contempt. It means to show contempt. The contempt in this case, first the pronunciation. Contempt in this context means to show, to show utter, to show utter disrespect. I hope you can read that word there, utter. show utter complete disrespect for something and if you do that you're showing contempt you're being contemptuous to show open disrespect to show utter disrespect to show open disrespect and and you would hear this word being used as somebody who flouted the law to flout the example would be to flout the law 
to flow the rules and regulations he is always flouting the rules of the schools because his father happens to be the headmaster therefore he always always he is always flouting the laws the rules because he feels that he is above it because his daddy is the headmaster you see he shows utter disrespect for the laws don't confuse the word flout and flout flout means to show off flout means to show utter disrespect utter contempt for something to utter utter disrespect for something because you feel that you are uh, because that that whatever it is the rules and regulations those are beneath you that you are above it which is which is where we have the phrase sometimes you'll hear it in a courtroom drama you'll hear it you you'll hear in a courtroom drama in a movie or or television where the judge will say that if you do not shut up he was talking to he's talking to a person in the court there if you don't shut up i will hold you in contempt of the court in, to be held in contempt of the court means that you, sh that you were showing disrespect to the judge, you were showing disrespect to the court system, you were show showing disrespect to the, the entire legal system, and because you're showing the disrespect, I'm going to hold you in contempt. That's where the word comes from. Contempt of the court. Disrespect of the court. You're flouting the rules. That's all I have. That's all I have for today. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.